to see our new exhibit, A Bend in the River. Um, first, I would really like to say a big thank you to our exhibit sponsors. So please help me in thanking Keeley Creative, Hutton, and Terry Brinegar. Now imagine the year is 1858. You are exploring the plains we call Kansas. It has been a long, hot, windy day, and suddenly you hear the running, gurgling, bubbling sound of a river. It calls out to all who listen. Man and animal alike approach to partake of this life-giving water, a welcome break at the sea of grass that is the prairie. This is the river some plains Indians call Totola, meaning heaven, haven of rest. The Pa, inhabitants of this area, call it Pahada Soja. You, however, use the English translation of the Pa name, like it for Zebulon Pike did back in 1806, and call it the Smoky Hill. For roughly 575 miles, the Smoky Hill traverses the river, the prairie, providing food, shade, and water. It is in this small bend in the river that you and your companions decide to settle, realizing the river will provide a catalyst to grow a thriving community, a community you call Salina. Our story of this river is unique and rich in history, yet it is also familiar throughout the world as countless people can identify with the struggles and triumphs of, the living, of living with water. The Smoky Hill was the lifeblood of Salina, from early on, the river brought this small town together. Beyond drinking water, the river was here, was where all this action took place. It provided power for the mills and a means of transportation. The community also gathered and had fun along the river bank. In the summer, there was picnicking, fishing, swimming, boating, water skiing, and festivals. Ice skating and hockey were popular in the wintertime. But all was not fun and games. Indigenous people reportedly cautioned settlers about the flood, flood prone nature of the Smoky Valley area. Their warnings included accounts of the 1844 flood with water surge filling the valley from hill to hill. Despite these warnings, the town founders settled on the floodplain beside the Smoky. In due course, they faced natural consequences of periodic flooding. And as soon after the town's founding, there were two severe floods, one in 1867 and in 1877. Six major floods followed those over the next 74 years. Overflows from the Smoky Hill River and Dry Creek swamp city streets each time. Resilient, the town repeatedly rebuilt and adapted. Solutions were sought for the flooding, and some of those suggestions carried out fixed the flooding, but they led to other problems, one of which was the slow eroding of the community's identity. No longer is, the, is there flowing water, swimming, fishing, and boats running up and down the river through town. These are the, the cherished memories of those old enough to have lived when the old river channel ran full. For the rest of us, the original river is hard to comprehend. But this exhibit tells the story of the Smokies and hopes to help us all learn more about its role in the formation of the game. We could not have done this exhibit without the help of many people and organizations. And I direct you to some of the programs that are on the table. If you turn those over, you will see uh, a list of those who help as well as our artifacts in there. And before we go in, I have a few announcements. The first of which is please feel free to visit the store. We have many new Kansas and Salina themed items that would make perfect Christmas gifts. And speaking of Christmas, we are in the middle of our Poinsettia Cell fundraiser, and uh, order forms can be found on the front desk here as well. But enough of my sales pitch. Let's all enjoy a bend in the river. <laughs> 